My personal journey began four years ago. I hadn't come from a faith background. I found myself on drugs through caring for my mum and dad. So when I was 11, they were both made disabled. I had a lot of pressure looking after them and my way of dealing with it was taking drugs. And by the time I was 16, I was a full-blown heroin addict. I'd given up on trying to make things better. I'd given up on trying to get off the drugs. Everything I'd tried, I'd failed. There was an outreach in Stockton, a food van feeding homeless, and, and they reached out to me, took an interest in how I'd ended up in that position. You know, probably the first time in my life that someone had asked them questions rather than just telling me what I need to do. And they offered me a place. I said that we can get you into rehab next week. You know, the first time ever that, you know, I'd had that little bit of hope. I ended up in Nottingham Battelle Rehab, got myself clean and then got transferred up to Hexham to be closer to home, which is where I really encountered God. I've always had a problem with insomnia. When we were at Hexham we volunteered at a, a music festival and at the end of the four days I was just so exhausted. I laid down on the grass and that's when I just felt the peace of God rush through me. And it was at that point I knew it was real. I left rehab in the, the October and I ca came back home and the council went to put me in one of the hostels in Stockton, which was absolutely notorious for drugs. I just remember then, like, God, I, if I'm going to get through this, I need you to help me. I went from there to what they call the Moses Project, which is a an outreach for addicts and adults over 25 and that's where I met Peter Conroy who's part of Tees Valley Community Church and uh, we just started talking he was like yeah why don't you come with us get part of the church you know and from then I've never looked back and it was Peter who introduced me to Eden he brought me down here to the shack Maybe it's two, three times a week we, we would meet, we would pray, there, there would be four of us just sat praying. And eventually that became five and then ten. That's where we ended up developing and launching the Parkfield Eden. The guys that are on team have just got a real heart for people. Because we don't have a, our own centre or building at the minute, they op open their own home up. We've got one family across the road, she got baptised a couple of weeks ago, but her journey came from the first Love Where You Live we did. Eden to me, it's, it's building that community, but building it relationally. It's, it's about being alongside them and helping them through the lowest points in their life or celebrating the highest points and just showing that love of Jesus and hopefully Especially for me, it's like the hope that they will one day have that revelation of God that sees them living in the freedom that I experienced. Being part of an Eden team, it can't, bit of a double negative, but it can't not help somebody grow. It's about reaching out to those that have been forgotten. God calls you to that place of being up front. He wants you to be uncomfortable because then when good things happen you glorify God because you know that without God you, you wouldn't be doing it. I would say the reason to build an Eden team is it's an effective way of demonstrating God's love and God's presence and God's reality. You live with these people, you, you eat with these people, you you argue with these people, you you, you laugh, you cry, but all the time God's working inside them. Through the sacrificial living given to others in the area, it's an amazing way to develop your own faith and to see yourself grow as well.